I have found that the wind down to sleep for me is, is like this ritual and I'm giving myself these like full on facials at night just to kind of get myself in the mindset to like just sink into bed. Um, and so part of that wind down is this nighttime routine. Here we go. First, I always pull my hair back because, you know, I would say that I'm kind of messy when it comes to my skincare. I like to do like just like a good wipe down of the face, sort of like wiping away the day. So you'll see that I'm pretty much only using my Honest Beauty products. Frankly, it's the only way that I can ensure that I'm not gonna have some kind of reaction. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the Gel to Milk Cleanser. And what's great about this is it's like this milky cleanser that just kind of like, first it's jelly, but it's so fun because it turns milky when you mix it with water and it really like breaks down the makeup. Like today I was wearing lashes and a bit more makeup than normal days because I was filming. My son, I take these off in the shower and my son thinks they're spiders. <laughs> Freaks them out. Like I said, I do like to double cleanse when I'm wearing a sort of like more of a glam face. My mom was always so insistent with me spending money on my skincare. She was like, if you got any money to spend on anything, better take care of that face. Next is I'm gonna use Calm On Foaming Cleanser by Honest Beauty. And you could really just use this. I usually just use this one every single day. And it does break down makeup. But like I said, for those like heavier makeup days, I do like to double cleanse. So this is nice because it's a nice calming. It has like a phyto complex, the eczema association, which I don't know if y'all got eczema or suffer from any kind of rashy dry patches, but I found that it was really hard to find a really great line of skincare that really worked and was active and felt more luxurious than just like a basic line. All right. I love these sponges. You can get them anywhere. You can get them, you know, from like Target or Amazon. I got these online from Amazon. My girlfriend taught me all about double masking and basically it's like in some areas you may want to have that more kind of like antioxidant, that look where your pores look like more refined and tighter and just like that dope kind of skin vibe versus really wanting like a detox situation. If you feel like you're getting mask knee from wearing masks or if you're just feeling congested. So I do like to double mask and it's kind of a twofer. So this is my detox three in one mask and it's nice with this one because it's not over drying. A lot of these charcoal, activated charcoal masks um, can be quite drying and I wanted to create one that just doesn't really overly dry your skin. So I'm putting it really on my forehead here and here where I get my mask knee. I go in with this Prime and Perfect. I don't know, just gives that like face this like glow. It feels like tighter. It kind of tightens up when it dries on your face and it's packed with antioxidants. Shea butter and it smells like a smoothie on your face. So this I actually use also every single morning, not even gonna lie. I'm not really broken out here, but I just like to put that layer because that is where I tend to break out. And then never forget your neck. So this is the Comfort Zone Eye Patches. This I actually discovered when I was in Italy um, we launched Honest Beauty at Douglas in Italy and um, when I was there, we went to a bunch of cities and 
and my makeup artist discovered this amazing brand. And literally my eyes react to so many things and these are the only patches that I can use that I haven't had a reaction to. I wish they were cheaper. <laughs> When you're a woman of a certain age, you're always looking for a healthier lip. Glossy, so it's like a lip treatment and a gloss in one. And this is Moonstone. It's nice because it really like hydrates and gives you that plumping effect when you put it on. All right, so we just sort of like sit like this for, I don't know, five, 10, 15, 20 minutes. I, um, used to go to a facialist a lot more, Shawnee Darden, she is my home girl. Um, I don't really have a regular dermatologist. I probably should, I feel like I really should. I am not afraid to use a skin tightening laser, bring it. I am not afraid to use an IPL, bring it. All right, so I'm gonna take this off now. First off, I'm going to use the Honestly Bright Eyes because who doesn't need some brightness under their eyes? Yes, please. What's great is it's um, this nice like water-based formula and uh, it's really light but very hydrating and it has like pigment. So it sort of counters that like bluish that can happen under the eyes. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Organic Beauty Facial Oil. And I'm gonna do two like a big full dropper of it and put it all over the face. This is great for all skin types. It smells really nice. So while I have this thick layer on my face, I'm gonna go in with the Nurse Jamie. It's called like Ionics and it just sort of like vibrates. I mean, you can hear it and it just feels really good on the face, especially after a long day. It feels like you're really like massaging. It's like, how do I take the best part of a facial and bring it into my daily routine? Yes, but I wouldn't recommend doing it on a dry face. I think you really need to have like product to help sort of move it around without pulling your skin under your eyes. All right. Next is this like really beautiful, are you kidding? It's called Refa. And it's this, I actually don't know any of the technical aspects of it. All I know is that my girlfriend, Monica Blender, who's a makeup artist, she got this for me as a gift. And I don't know, it just feels fancy. And this little guy right here is like, it's powered by solar. So I did set it outside to get powered up. I don't know if I should have done that. I don't know why I did that, but I did. So there's that. As you can see, I got like these kind of rosy cheeks now. I feel like my forehead's missing and needs a little love in. And next is the Beauty Sleep Serum. And this is nice because literally like I feel like in one night, you can see such a difference. So I don't know if you all have like blackheads on your nose um, or congestion, um, but really in like seven days of using this every night, it's a dramatic difference. You know, it's recommended that you could use it once a week after that, or you could use it every day. It's really like whatever is your jam. And then next is the hydrogel. I would say that the person who's taught me most about skin is probably Shawnee, um, mixed with my mom, um, just always doing skincare. And then I've learned a lot just, frankly, from being in my office and from chemists and learning from them about formulas and about what does what, um, and really learning about clean chemistry because it's a tricky one and there's a lot of greenwashing out there. So I'm just taking a giant glob of this and this is the hydrogel 
And I would say that if I was stranded on a desert island and I can only take one product, this would be it. What's cool is that, as you can see, I'm putting on like the thickest layer ever. And this thick layer, you can leave it. It has this like time release. So it will sort of like melt on your face over time and slowly release all of that moisture goodness. And I would say like something that I do for my skin that isn't skincare is I do like to take omegas. I think that's really important. I take a hyaluronic acid um, supplement as well. And I drink a lot of water and I drink electrolyte water. I'm ready to go to bed. All right guys, so the question now is do I get a glass of wine as a little nightcap or do I take a nice cup of tea? Cup of tea, glass of wine, cup of tea, glass of wine. I'm gonna go for the wine. All right, thank you for going to bed with me. I hope you feel calm and uh, ready to snuggle into bed with a glass of wine with me. <laughs> we could do it together, <laughs> but apart, but together. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, yeah, thanks for uh, hanging out. <laughs>